This is a quick video of my current home, server, network, and automation setup. Let's start with the network. The main internet is a fiber optic connection coming into this gigabit media converter, which is connected to the wireless router. The router is an ASUS RT-AC66U, a decent wireless router with tons of features, including a VPN server, network traffic monitoring, and dual WAN option. Which brings us to this coax modem from a different internet service provider as a backup internet connection. And these two gigabit network switches are for extra ethernet drops. Wi-Fi alone does not allow me to utilize the entire gigabit network, so I've passed two CAT6 cables to each room in the house, one for the network and the other for the home automation and monitoring, which we will get to in a bit. Next up is the server and services. We use a VoIP service for our home phone. This is a Gigaset C610A IP phone, which uses a low emission version of the DAT6 technology. This is an IP HDTV tuner connected to a motorized 360 degree external directional antenna, which captures over the air HD channels and allows us to watch TV on any network device. I've installed this about six months ago and used it once. Apparently commercials are still a thing. Next is the home file and media server, which is connected to an external encrypted RAID 1 backup and file drives. Here we have the shared network laser printer for the entire home. Finally, the CyberPower 850 AVR UPS protects against power surges along with about 54 minutes of backup power before the server gracefully shuts down via signal from that UPS over USB. Next up is the home automation. This is experimental at the moment, but I've developed a tiny IP protocol for the 80 mega and 80 tiny chipset that can send and receive at about 115 kilobits per second for over a thousand feet using one shielded twisted pair. This is the 80 mega 328 acting as a bridge to the standard IP network, which at the moment allows me to control the central vac, workshop fan, vacuum table, and dust collector from anything that can drop an event onto the DDA network bus. And finally, this is a Raspberry Pi cluster that I'm currently using to develop and test the project I'm working on. The main differentiator of my build is how I power each unit. Instead of using a USB hub, I've opted for a 5 volt rail powered from a 10 amp brick. This keeps wiring clean and allows me to add a lot more nodes in the future. I still have room for future projects, which will probably involve these security cameras and more home automation stuff. That's it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.